In this part of the exercise, I'm going to talk about copying and pasting, um, introduce the clone tool, talk about adjustment layers, and layer blending modes. Before I go for, uh, further in this video, remember you should have a folder structure set up and you should have this uh, fish image saved <clears throat> in a known location. Okay. If you're not in my course and you're just watching my YouTube channel, just, just find any image, any high contrast image uh, will be okay. Okay, so let's go back to our PSD file. So what we're going to do <coughs> is place an image in here and do stuff to it. And so go into either your uh, Mac Finder or Windows Explorer, go to the fish image, Hover over it, right click, whoops, right click, <laughs> what, come on, I don't know why I did that. Um, right click, open with Adobe Photoshop. Now, I'm in a Mac, your Windows Explorer, uh, your Windows OS might look a little bit different, but open with Adobe Photoshop. <clears throat> and the here's the fish image, and if we look up here, uh, here's the PSD file we've been working on this whole time, and a new tab has opened up uh, for the, uh, the fish. My mission in life here is I just want the fish to be placed into my PSD file without the black background. There's bunches of ways to do that, um, but the, just for this exercise, here's what we're going to do. Come over to the left, and if you go four tools down and you hover over it, you'll see the magic wand tool. If you hit the drop down menu, um, there's object selection tool, quick selection tool, and magic wand tool. So make sure magic wand tool is selected. Come over to the image, hover anywhere over any black area, and click once. And what the magic wand tool does is it'll select all black pixels, or all similar, you know, color pixels that are next to each other. So like for example, if I zoom in here, um, this area right here is, is next to the, this black, so kind of like the, the selection like kind of bled into that. Now this area here, which is surrounded by a different color, the magic wand tool did not pick that up. Just to get some more practice on refining our selections, um, what I want to do is, I don't want this. I don't want this part selected here. I don't want this part selected here or this here. So, here's what we're going to do. Come over and select the lasso tool, not the polygon lasso tool, just the plain old lasso tool. Hover over the fish, and what I'm going to do is deselect this section here, and I'm going to be careful, and I'm going to go over. Um, this this area here. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold, go anywhere on the fish, hold down the option key, you get the minus sign. Click hold and drag, and the only place that you have to be careful is right here. Okay, and then down this way I can be like really super sloppy, do you see that? And so like lo and behold I get that stripe back, you know. I, I want, I, that's what I want. Here's another little section down here. Same thing. The only place I got to be careful is right here. So hover anywhere over the fish, hold down the option key. And again, like I can be super sloppy out here. Okay, that's cool. There was one other section. This, we might as well get this one too. And I'm repeating myself. The only part you have to be careful is, is right here. Um, so I'm going to hover out here option key or alt on PC. Click, hold, and drag, make a nice big loop, but then right here I'm going to be careful to get that border, let go, so that's really cool. Um, actually this down here, I'm getting like, probably spending too much time on this. Um, okay, that's good, That that's, that's fine, I'm going to call it okay. So command or control zero so we can see the whole image. <clears throat> okay so all the black stuff is selected. Um, so if I did a, if I copied this, if I did a command or control C for copy, 
I would just copy the black stuff. That's not what I want. I want to invert the selection. I want to select only the fish. So you can do that if you have marching ants. Go to select um, inverse. And you can see this in the Mac OS. This means shift command I. So you can do a shift command I on the Mac or a control or pardon me, shift control I on a PC. But I'm just going to click inverse here. Now you can see the marching ants have changed a little bit. They're not around the border anymore, so the fish is selected. Now do a command or control C. C is in cat for copy. That's copied. Um, I could close this file. As long as you, well, leave it open just in case things go wrong here. Go to your Photoshop file. <clears throat> um, make sure the top layer is active, the shapes layer. When we paste something in to this file, it'll create its own layer. It's usually, typically it's easier if you're on the top layer, so just so you know what's going on. So the, make sure the top layer, shapes layer is selected. Command or Control V, Victor, V to paste. And there's your little fishy. And uh, so this is on, it came, it, notice that whenever you paste something, it comes in on its own layer. Even though this is a very, very simple exercise, let's get in the habit of naming our layers. So name that fish. And let's do a couple more things, and then we'll go into the next video. Um, first of all, if the layer is selected, uh, we can do that transform thing. Um, even if there, there's no marching ants here, right? But hold, do a command or control T for transform, and whatever is in the layer will be surrounded by the bounding box. Okay, so you don't have to have the marching ants to do the transform. So what the, the entire, whatever, if there's like multiple objects in that layer, those multiple objects will be surrounded by the bounding box. But anyway, so I got to hear the fish with command or control T. Hold down the shift key, grab a uh, corner and scrunch this guy down so he's um, smaller. Then just, I'm not holding down any keys now, I'm just hovering over the fish with the bounding box. Click, hold, and drag, and just position it so it's like inside this um, this middle left square. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. So it kind of like fills this area here. Okay, so I like that. Hit the return key to say, yes, I like that. Let's save our file, Command or Control S and um, I'll see you in the next video.